We're back at the 1984 investment mobile home property. And today we're gonna to be removing this deck. So right now, Ashley is clearing it off, just getting it ready. We're gonna get rid of this thing. So just for perspective, this is the back side of the mobile home. Here's the back door. We have this little deck that wraps around the septic tank. So you can see it's kind of an L-shaped deck. There's the tank. It's not in super great shape. A lot of this wood is kind of rotted. And the reason we want to take it down is because it's attached to the house. We don't want anything attached to the mobile home. And just because it's so worn out. We're going to see if I can unscrew these screws and make it easier. You want to come grab them? Yeah. Ready for me to tear this down, Ash? Yep. Well, don't forget about that thing on the supports. You want to drag it out? So I want to see you do some work on these steps, Ash. Okay. You need to get those out of the ground. Oh. I guess we don't need to take that board off. Let me see if it just pops off. There's a, there's a black snake in the palmetto bush. Well, stay away from it. Thank you.
I see a yellow zip tie.
This one is not. Well guys, that didn't go bad at all. We got the deck down without too much struggle. I strained myself a couple times, but all but one post and this ledger board that's attached to the house. I don't want to ruin the house. I'm going to try to unscrew that. The screws hopefully come out. We'll see what happens. That board is shot. We got a few of them out. Let's see what it does. These are called palmetto bugs, and some people call them cockroach. It's just different names for the same bug. I mean, this is why, first of all, you don't want this against your home. That is holding bugs and moisture against your house. This is why I don't want a deck attached to the mobile home. Oh no, more carpenter ants. I'm trying to do a video. Oh, you are. Well guys, I don't want to cut it short, but I think we'll wrap this one up because that job is done and we're going to be moving on to a new project. So let's start a new video. It won't be happening today, but what I want to do is get under this home and do an underbelly gut. And what I mean is we have a lot of old insulation under here an old plumbing under here an old mess under here. And I want to pull it all out so that we can see the whole underside of the home. We'll be able to work easier, run our new plumbing, run our new plumbing, run our new electrical, and also repair the floor where needed. And this underbelly is made of paper. A lot of mobile homes, they have a plastic, like a polyethylene or polypropylene. I don't know what it is, poly something. They have some kind of uh, uh, plastic underbelly that protects the bottom of the home, seals it up, and holds the insulation. Well, this one is just a paper-based product. It's very deteriorated. It rips easily, and it's already got a lot of holes over it. So I figure, why not just get rid of it, start over? We could always seal it back up with something better and longer lasting than this, because this has served its life. Got to remember, this is 1984. This paper has been under here since the 80s, and it's just... It's time for something new. Look forward to that project. We'll see what we can uncover under the home. But I think that's all we have for now. So thanks for watching and until next time, take care. See ya.